You'll hear people in academic circles talking about the difficult problem of consciousness. I don't think it's difficult at all. Hopefully uh, in this short video you'll see why. Now consciousness is a very hot topic particularly for spiritual people because they realize hopefully anyway that uh, when the body dies then their thoughts, their emotions, their memories, their desires, their sensation will all go. I mean, you'd have to be a bit delusional to believe that those things are going to persist after the death of the body. Anyway, all those things go, but maybe we can hang on to consciousness because all those people from the East seem to think that consciousness is important. I'll s show you shortly that that isn't the case. Uh, the Buddha saw consciousness as quite a, how can I put it, disposable thing. Anyway, so the body decays and spiritual people are going to hang on to consciousness as something that might help them in some way persist after death of the body. It's the old, old thing. You know, survival drive wants two things. It wants happiness and eternity. It wants us to be immortal. Um, it's a delusion. And it's a delusion that is, uh, how can I put it, exploited by spiritual people to a large extent. You know, if you do this, you'll become happy. And if you do this, you might in some way become immortal after the death of the body. It's snake oil. So... Um, Consciousness is just a function of the brain. I don't think uh, neuroscientists would disagree with that. They have a problem actually trying to figure out how exactly it's a, a function of the brain. But that it's a function of the brain was well understood by Schopenhauer. Uh, he said the following. For consciousness is conditioned by the intellect. And the intellect is a mere accident of our being, for it is a function of the brain. The brain, together with the nerves and spinal cord attached to it, is a mere fruit, a product, in fact a parasite of the rest of the organism, insofar as it is not directly geared to the organism's inner working, but serves the purpose of self-preservation by regulating its relations with the external world. So, to summarize that, basically we need conscious during, consciousness during the daytime to help us navigate the external world. When we no longer need to do that, we go to sleep. And hey, presto, guess what? When we go to sleep, consciousness disappears. So this thing that might be a permanent fixture of our existence in some way isn't a permanent fixture. It disappears with sleep. I mean, it's such an obvious thing, and yet all the merchants of uh, spiritual this, that, or the other uh, tend to ignore that fact. Your consciousness disappears when your brain changes its state and goes to sleep. And of course, there are general anaesthetics. If you've ever had a general anaesthetic, you'll know that the minute they inject the uh, anaesthetic and the minute you work up at the same moment it's exactly the same moment you completely lose consciousness and with it a sense of time so uh, that's Schopenhauer's take on it that the consciousness is just a property of intellect you know, he uses the word intellect in a slightly broader sense than uh, most people would, but it's a property of the functioning of our brain. And we need it during the day, our daytime waking consciousness, uh, just to navigate the world so we can get food and money and all that kind of stuff. So what does the Buddha have to say about consciousness? Well, for the Buddha, consciousness was the fifth aggregate, or the fifth skanda. Um, the other four deal with thought, emotion, sensation, desires. And the fifth one is consciousness. Now, all these aggregates are just properties of a mortal body. 
So when your body disappears, consciousness goes with it because it's just an aggregate. It's one of the properties of the body. So it seems like the Buddha wasn't particularly um, inclined to sell illusion to people. He just said it very openly. When you die, you die. And your consciousness goes with it. So, the, um, the simple problem of consciousness is quite easily addressed. We don't need to contemplate on a difficult problem of consciousness. Consciousness is a property of the brain when it's in an awake state. And when it's not awake, then consciousness goes. And according to the Buddha, at least, consciousness is just one of the aggregates and it disappears when we die, which will disappoint a lot of spiritual people, but um, it's just the obvious conclusion. <laughs>